Um, but thank you everyone for, for attending. I'm probably going to bore you uh, with a few more more um, facts. Uh, thank you, Katie, for sharing some, some important information about migraine uh, earlier this morning. But um, about one in five households has a migraine patient. Just think about that. You know, think about your neighborhoods. One in five households has a migraine patient. And there are only about 700 migraine specialists in, in the entire country. Um, the WVU Headache Center, this is the only comprehensive headache center in our state. Our training program is the only um, headache fellowship training program in our state. Um, some of the recent data shows that about half the patients with migraine um, experience a delay of several years before their diagnosis is made. And more than 40% of the patients with migraine have their disease treated or, uh, treated or controlled inadequately. So, so just let it sink in. Uh, we're talking about millions of patients and millions of, of, of uh, you know, are, uh, these patients are, are either not diagnosed properly or, or not treated properly. So of course, you know, there's a dire need for training more headache specialists, but even more than that, um, there's just a, a, a critical need for, for headache education across the board so that patients are, are diagnosed early and they're treated properly. Um, Katie also mentioned that that migraine is the second leading cause of disability worldwide. Now that's across all ages. But in women aged between 15 and 49, it's the leading cause of disability worldwide. And migraine is the least funded, migraine research is the least funded amongst the most um, uh, disabling uh, diseases. It receives 20th of a dollar it should in federal funding. So there's also a critical need for, for research. And, and this is where Miles for Migraine is, is so important. All the funds that are raised at events like these go directly to um, our headache program for both education and research. And, uh, and, and we, uh, we couldn't have done it without the support of all of you. Um, so thank you, especially to the participants, to the volunteers, to the sponsors, um, the Miles for Migraine team, the wonderful team, and, uh, and, and a special shout out to Heather Hickman, Lisa Fox, and Tiffany Lennon from, from uh, our headache program who work the entire year, who work with the Miles for Migraine team during the entire year to make this successful. Um, uh, some of you are gonna run now, others are gonna walk, and I'm gonna make sure that the, 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 the clock works properly, okay? <laughs> Thank you all.